Hello everyone, this is Ed, also known as the Angry Old Man to his sons, welcoming you to my 102nd TTM video. TTM stands for Through the Mail. We send out autograph requests to famous people, athletes, whomever, and hope they send our stuff back, preferably signed and not unsigned. And also, hopefully we don't get the dreaded yellow sticker, which uh, usually is returned to sender, refused, not here. Uh, usually that means they're there, and they just don't want the mail. If they've moved, there's usually a forwarding address on it. But I hope everybody's doing well, enjoying the fall weather and stuff, enjoying the football season. Uh, my Giants and Jets are terrible, and the Jets just fired their head coach. I don't know if that's going to do any good. Good defensive coordinator, though. I think the problem might have been Mr. Aaron Rodgers, but we shall see. And my Mets and Yankees, well, they're doing pretty good. Yankees are up two games to one. Hopefully they'll finish it up tonight. And for the Mets, sorry to you Phillies fans. I know you guys were hoping to get to the series. And uh, Sad for you guys, happy for me, you know, that my Mets advanced. Hopefully uh, they can get Grimace to throw out another opening game pitch. Really helped them. Today I will uh, have a couple shout-outs to great channels. One uh, show of some great friend mail I got. I will show you a bunch of pickups I got and three, three, three returns. So, let's get going, shall we? All right, let's start with the the shout-outs. First shout-out, I always like to give a shout-out to a channel, is Alex at Jay's Mix, one of Canada's favorite sons. He does a lot of pack rips up at his uh, channel. He's, he's got a great show. Alex is a really nice guy, does superb videos, you'll really like his channel. So go check it out if you're not already subscribed. And let's make it more international. This next shout-out goes to uh, a couple down, way down a ways from where I live. They're in Australia, entirely different continent. Two great people with a great channel. Mr. and Mrs. Lee Fan Down Under, Mike and Yuki. Uh, Mike contacted me, or, you know, emailed, or whatever. We exchanged something back and forth in the comments about he was showing a Yafet Kodo card. And I said, oh, wow, I really like Yafet Kodo. You know, I enjoyed him in Alien and especially in uh, Live and Let Die, the James Bond flick. I think we played Mr. Big and in various other movies. And he said, oh, Ed, I might have an extra one. And I said, oh, that's great. He said, would you like it? I said, yeah, sure. I said, you know, um, he said, no charge, you know, it's free, I'll give it to you. I offered to, uh, you know, do you need any money for shipping? He's like, no, no, it's on me. That was really super generous of him. And uh, he said he was going to send a few extras. Well, he didn't kid about sending a few extras, so I'll show you what he sent. Super generous uh, stuff he sent. First, one of the best things he, uh, he sent was this, this sticker, Leaf Fan Down Under. Look at that. Happy couple. Mike and Yuki getting ready to go on their uh, trip. So I hope they're having going to have a good time. He was a winner of a um, giveaway I had not too long ago. Won the Wendell Clark card. So he said he got it. Got the package I sent with some uh, extras in it for him. And I'm glad. I worry about the U.S. postal system. It, it's not very good anymore. <laughs> They lose things going from one end of the state to the other. It's 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 sad. It really is. This was the Yafet Koto card. It was signed. You know, that's him in, uh, I believe, Alien. So, I'm a fan of Yafet. Me and my friends back in uh, college were like, we got to have a Yafet Koto film festival. That was, uh, I always kept saying that. They sent this great card here. Austin Matthews. My favorite player with Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane, not so much anymore. He never responded to my uh, TTM requests. I don't like that. He's not busy in the offseason. I still like Patrick Kane, but Austin, yeah, I like him a lot too. He's up there. Top two current favorite players. But Patrick is on the downside of his career. I thank you for that. And here are the packs of cards he said he was going to send. I was, Wow. Uh, I always like his rugby cards, and he sent three packs, which I will open on a different show. And um, that's uh, real nice. That's awesome. We don't have that here, but he really shocked me with these 
one, two, three, five autograph cards of rugby players. Steve Price right there. We got uh, Justin Poor, I believe. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Look at that awesomeness. And you got uh, Matt Cooper. Such a great game, rugby. Luke Lewis. And got Luke Burt right there. That's awesome. I can't thank you enough. It was, wow, beyond generous, my friend. Super beyond generous. Thank you so much. So go check out Leaf Fan Down Under. Check out Jay's Mix. You'll go to Australia. You'll go to Canada. And you don't have to pay anything. It's free. Isn't that wonderful? And you get to see great people. All right, let's get to the pickups. First pickup is at an autograph show, the Philly show. Mr. Dave Winfield, San Diego Padres. Well, at least that card on there, his rookie card. I also got the inscription ticket. This is the first time I went to the new spot at the convention center. A lot more room. It's less crowded, which was good. And the Sunday I went, it was really not crowded, which I like. I, I don't like big crowds. I got a baseball signed by Mr. Winfield. He was uh, really fun. Still looks really good. <laughs> uh, he was my favorite player growing up as a kid. Him and then Gary Carter was number two. Those were my top two guys, Yankees and Mets there. And I thought Dave Winfield was such a great athlete. Could hit, could throw, run. I mean, he did everything. So I get up there and he starts laughing. He sees my shirt. I wear the same shirt at most autograph shows. And it's um, Fred Sanford. From the show Sanford and Son, where he goes, how you? How about five across your lips? And he started laughing, and he said, that's a great shirt. I, I, It's an icebreaker, I think, because Dwight Gooden said it when I met him. He's like, oh, that's a great shirt. You know, a lot of guys liked it. And I get up there, and I get the inscription ticket, and he's signing the ball. And one of his handlers goes, well, would you like Hall of Fame on it? And I said, oh, no thanks. They looked a little shocked. I have two. Ball sign with Hall of Fame on it. I didn't want that. So goes, I go, I'd like 81 AL champs. And they all <laughs> looked surprised. Dave Winfield looked, wow. One of his other handlers was like, whoa, that's uh, something different, unusual. <laughs> so he signed it, 81 AL champs. That's when they lost to the Dodgers in six games in the World Series. Maybe he didn't like that. I don't know. He did go one for 22 in that series. So that's when George Steinbrenner called him Mr. May in their relationship went downhill from there but i like it it's a great addition to my uh collection getting mr winfield and seeing him worth the price wasn't too bad you know everything so thank you mr winfield and some of the other pickups i got this 1970 reggie jackson wearing an oakland A's uniform in yankee stadium see the facade back there this is for my 1970 Tops baseball card collection. I only need about 300 cards now. So I got, uh, yeah, just a little over half the set there because it's over 700. So that's a good addition. And then I got this rookie Moses Malone card with the Utah Stars of the ABA. Been looking to get that one for a while. Glad to add that. And third, I got Rookie card, 1975, Dan Fouts. I think I'm the only person in the card community that might not have had this card. But this is for my 75 Tops collection. And I need about 200 more cards for that. So I'm rolling along, getting ready to complete those sets. And two last pickups. This 1972 Tops Bob Hayes card, Hall of Famer there. It's a four, but it looks really good in the SGC. And then this... 1976, Reggie Jackson. It's Reggie Day. And this uh, PSA, it's number three. It's three, but it looks great. My favorite time, set of all time, 1976 baseball set. So glad to add those. And now to the TTM returns. First one came all the way from the Palmetto State, South Carolina. It took, how long did it take? It took a long time. Nah, 28 days. It's not too bad. And that is of a former NFL linebacker, Brian Kelly, on the 1976 Topps card there. Your football. And also the 1977 Topps. Shaving on this one. 
Uh, Brian Lee Kelly, born September 1st, 1951 in Big D, Dallas, Texas. Oops, scoot him over a little better. <laughs> he was a linebacker. He played college football at Cal Lutheran University, a Division III school. It's in Thousand Oaks, California. In his junior year in 1971, they won the uh, NAIA championship. In the 1973 NFL draft, he was picked in the 14th round with the 353rd pick by the New York Football Giants. He played his whole career with the Giants from 1973 to 83, so he had a good career. He was part of the famed linebacker corps known as the Crunch Bunch. Him, Brad Van Pelt, Hall of Famer Harry Carson, and this other guy from Williamsburg, Virginia, uh, by the name of Lawrence Taylor. I think he did pretty good, too, in the NFL as well. There you go. Fall down, why don't you? Move that over a little. It's better. In his career, he had one and a half sacks, 15 interceptions, 226 interception return yards, 11 fumble recoveries as well. And he's a member of the College Football Hall of Fame. So thank you, Mr. Kelly, for signing that. This uh, next return, if I can find it, is... is from Georgia. Excuse me. This next return comes all the way from Georgia. I forgot where I put it. And it's of a former college football player. Another great from college football. And that is Mr. Ron Simmons. There he is. It's obviously this practice because he's going up against a FSU lineman. Ron Simmons took about 31 days from uh, Florida, I believe, and I included $5. He signed it in green to Ed, Brian, uh, Ron Simmons, number 50, FSU. So that, that's cool. I like that. Ronald K. Simmons, born May 15, 1958 in Perry, Georgia, 66 years of age. He attended Florida State from 1977 to 80, one of the highly recruited football players of his day. He played right down on the line, defensive line. In the 1981 NFL Draft, he was picked in the sixth round with the 160th pick by the Cleveland Browns. And he didn't make the Browns roster. He was cut during training camp. He went on to sign with the Ottawa Rough Riders of the Canadian Football League, where he played for a season in 1981. And from 1983 to 85, he played in the United States Football League with the Tampa Bay Bandits. Bandit ball with Coach Steve Spurrier. And they play, he played with them until the league folded. His, one of his teammates was a guy by the name of Lex Luger, who went on to have a great wrestling career as well. Ron Simmons turned to pro wrestling, as a lot of athletes, football players, did at that time once their careers were over. He wrestled from 1986 to 2009. He was the WCW heavyweight champion of the world, considered the first African-American to be heavyweight champion in any major organization in wrestling. And he got more famous for his time in WWF, WWE, you know, with the uh, Acolytes, him and uh, Bradshaw, you know, the Nation of Domination. He was a two-time All-American, consensus All-American at Florida. Is a member of the Orange Bowl Hall of Fame, the College Football Hall of Fame. His number 50 was retired by Florida State. At that time, it was the third number ever retired by FSU. Same school where a football player by the name of Burt Reynolds went until he hurt his knee and turned to acting. And he's also in the WWE Hall of Fame as well. So thank you, Mr. Simmons. Yeah, there's his green signature. Appreciate that. And this third one comes from Arizona. I was worried because I didn't know if it had ever come back. It had been out for just a little over a month, and he used to do a lot better. But, I mean, returning things fast. But he's old. I realized that. And I'm like, yeah, relax. That's my Pittsburgh Pirates photo of the different uh, emblems they had. And it was signed by Mr. Bob Oldis. <laughs> I've always had success with him, never had a failure. It took just over 30 days. There's no fee. Came from Arizona. Robert Carl Oldis, Bob, to his friends and TTMers. Born January 5th, 1928 in Preston, Iowa. 96 years of age. Going strong. God bless you. He was a catcher who played from 1953 to 63. Played with the Senators, Washington Senators. I know there are certain 
generation now that, oh, just the Nationals. No, there was two Washington teams before that. The Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. He was a member of the 1960 World Series champion Pirates, who um, lost to the Yankees three games to four. And the Yankees won that series three games to four, based on runs. You know. He hit 237 in his career. He hit one home run. That was on August 6, 1962, of Pete Riekert. Or Riekert, however you want to say it. He drove in 22 runs and had 56 hits. He was usually a third-string catcher. He was on the Pirates team in 60, but was brought into the World Series games for defensive reasons. After his career, he coached with the Phillies, the Twins, and the expansion 1969 Montreal Expos. I want to thank you all for watching, spending 15 minutes of your life. Hopefully it wasn't terrible. If you like the video, just, you know, click on the like button. Don't punch it. You might hurt your computer. Uh, even if you didn't like the video, you know, click on the like. Who's it going to hurt? And maybe we'll have something down the line you will like. Hopefully. Should. Check out those other channels as well. They're great. You're going to like them. And if you're new to the channel, you know, push the subscribe button. And, you know, hopefully you'll uh, watch the other videos if I can get them out regularly. Leave a comment. I like to try to comment to everybody. It might take a little bit of time, but I try to. I thank you all again. Hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. Be kind to one another, one at a time. That's the way the world goes, to be a better place. Tonight, we say goodbye at night to my brothers and sisters in Serbia. Love you.